hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel okay so today we're going to learn how to draft an a-line kaftan pattern okay so um this is pattern i always work with okay so um today we'll learn how to draft the pattern so you can alter it to any size of your choice okay it's super easy and it's very detailed now this is the same pattern i used to draft and um cut and sew all these um kaftans you're seeing okay so the fitting is is great all right so let's jump right into the drafting process okay so the measurements that we'll be working with um we'll be working with her shoulder her shoulder is 16 okay then um her bust round her bust round is 42 then her waist, her half length is 17.5. Then her waist round is 37. Then her waist to hip is 9. Then the entire dress length is 56. Okay. Then we'll be working with a neck width. neck width of of 3.5 by 4 inches depth for the front then for the back we'll be working with 3.5 inches neck width by 1.5 inches neck depth okay now these are the measurements that we'll be working with let's go right into the the drafting proper Okay, so okay, so let's start with the drafting. Um, now, um, all these measurements we're going to be dividing them by four. Okay, so her shoulder, we're going to divide the shoulder by two. Sixteen over two, that's eight. We're dividing the bust round by four. Forty-two over four, that's ten point five, and then her waist round thirty-seven over four that's 9.25 and then we're also adding her hip her hip round her hip round is 44 and 44 divided by 4 that's 11 okay so let's go let's proceed now we'll start by drafting the back pattern okay we'll start by drafting the back pattern then we'll proceed to the front now for the back let's leave the marginal line of one inch here okay so let's proceed i just gave a marginal line of one inch so that our drafting will be centralized um, inside here and it will be very clear all right so let's start her shoulder is 16 16 Divided by 2 is 8. We'll mark our 8. And then we're adding half inch for joining. Okay. Now, let's mark her neck width. Her neck width, we said that we want to use 3.5. 3.5. Remember, this is the back pattern. Okay. We're starting with the back. Now, the neck width is 3.5. By the neck depth is 1.5. So we'll go ahead and connect this. Okay, so this is the neck there for the back. Now, um, we're going to slope the back um, shoulder with one inch. Okay. Now, the next thing for us to do is to get her armhole line. Okay? So to get her armhole line, you're going to do your bust round divided by 6 plus 1.5. Now, her bust round is 42. 42 divided by 6, that will give you 7. Now, plus 1.5 will give you 8.5. Okay? Or you can do plus 1 if you don't want your armhole to be very down. Okay? Now, let's do plus 1. Okay? Because I don't want the armhole to be extremely low. Now, um, so that will give us 8. 
So the next thing you're going to do is to extend, um, take your tape back to this starting point. And then from that, from this starting point to this uh, point that we just marked eight, what we have here is nine inches. So to be sure that you're working with a straight line, we're going to go ahead and place our nine inches. And then we're going to connect that with a straight line. This will serve as our chest line, okay? So we'll proceed. Now on this chest line, we'll call this, let's label, I like to label, we'll call this our chest line, okay? Now on this chest line, you're going to repeat your shoulder divided by two. I remember I said that her shoulder is 16. 16 divided by two, that's eight, okay? Then we're also adding this half inch, so that's 8.5. Now we're connecting, we're going to connect these two points together with a broken line, okay? We're connecting it with a broken line. Okay, now here we have it. So, the next thing we're going to do is to take her boss round. We're taking her boss round and we're marking it on this chest round, on this chest line. Now her boss round is 42 and 42 divided by four is 10.5. So we'll go ahead and mark that. We'll mark our 10.5 here, okay? Now, um, I want to add 1.75 inches allowance, okay? So we're adding 1.75 inches. This is our sewing allowance. Now, next thing we're going to do is to come back to this our armhole line to take the middle the entire line is eight middle of it is four and we'll come in by that four at that four we'll come in with 0 0.5 okay so we're connecting we'll connect here first with a straight line Then we're connecting to the boss round divided by four with a curve line. Okay, so here we have it. Now let's proceed to mark all our vertical, all our vertical measurements. Okay, now um, from her shoulder, from the starting point to her waist length is, her waist length or her half length is 17.5. Then to her hip is 26. To the full length, the full length of the dress is 56 then we're using we're using 1.5 for the folding okay we'll go ahead and repeat the same thing here now we'll go ahead and connect these lines together okay so we're done marking the lines. Let's label. This is her waistline. Now this is her hip line. And uh, this is the full length. And this is the allowance for hemming. Okay. Now let's, let's proceed. Remember that all our markings are starting from this line and not from the edge of the paper. Okay. Now on the waist round. And on the waistline, we mark her waist round. Her waist round is 37. 37 divided by 4, that's 9.25. We place your tape. And then we're marking 9.25. Okay? Then our allowance of 1.75. Now on the hip round, on the hip line, we mark her hip round of 44. Divided by 4 is 11. 
and then we are adding 1.75 allowance now on the full length what we are going to do is to come back here and measure everything we have here including the allowance and what we have here is 12.75 okay now we'll round it up to 13 and we'll mark it here okay now we're marking the 13 at the allowance then we're adding extra 3.5 inches because this is um, an a-line dress but my client does not want it to be extremely full at the full length okay so we're adding um 3.5 inches as um that's the extent that we want it okay now we're going to connect these lines together okay so let's connect the from the full length from the allowance to the hip line okay now if you place it this way from the exact hip marking that we have you find that the line will, will not be um it will be slightly curvy around the hip part and that's not what we have because this is a slightly that's not what we want because this is a slightly um fitted dread, um caftan it's not as as free as okay so my client does not want it very big so i've placed my ruler like so then we're connecting almost like we came up by by half that's from here to here almost like we came up by half um by five inches yes so we came up by five inches and then we connected this is our original heat mark but we came in and then we came up by five inches to connect this way okay so i'm going to use my marker pen so that connect for us okay so this is what we have i'll still go ahead and use my marker pen um up there now um, to avoid sharp points, we're going to come up here by one inch, okay? So we'll come up here by one inch and then we'll take the entire length here. The entire length that we have here, this is 17. Now, 17 divided by 2. Just simply fold your tape in two and make a mark. So we are connecting from this point to that one inch that we came up with. I like to do this with, with my free hand or you can do it with a cuff if you want to. Okay. So when we are cutting, we are going to cut this way upwards. This is to avoid any form of um, sharp points. Okay. Let me also use my, my marker pen. To darken this line so we can see okay now this is what we have here all right so remember that this is the back that we are still cutting now the next thing we are going to do is to tighten the back okay we're going to go ahead and extend these lines we'll go ahead and extend these lines to so that extra one inch that i left okay so from the waistline remember that this is the waistline from the waistline we'll go in from here we'll go in by 0.75 Okay, let's use 0 0.75 to tighten it. Okay, now we're going to um, to know the extent that we're going to be connecting it up here with. From the neck depth, from our 1.5 inches neck depth, we'll just take the middle from, so from our 1.5 inches neck depth, Simply, what we have here is 7.5. So, to avoid cracking your hair, just fold your tape in two and then we'll make a mark there. So, we're connecting from here to this dot that we have here, and then we're connecting from here to our hip line. Okay, 
this will eliminate every form of bulge that will want to appear okay now this is it we'll go ahead and add our 0 0.5 inches um shoulder um, joining allowance okay we'll add it all we'll have here is already 0 0.5 and then we'll connect okay so that's it we will we will draft our front then we'll come back and mark our yoke and cut out okay all right guys so let's proceed to draft the front okay now we'll start with her shoulder her shoulder is 16 over 2 that's 8 neck width um is 3.5 neck depth is 3.5 okay so neck width and neck depth is 3.5 by 3.5 okay now we're collecting these marks okay so we've connected the neck round now to slope the back we use to slope the sh now to slope the shoulder um, we use 1.5 inches okay so we're connecting from the neck width to the 1.5 okay now the next thing for us to do is to bring our front okay. now the next thing for us to do is to bring our back that we had earlier cut remember i told us that we we'll first start cutting with the back um then we'll come back to the front okay so the next thing for us to do is to bring our back that we had earlier cut so here is our back now um remember that we sloped here with one inch so the entire thing that we have here for the back from here to the chest line is nine inches okay now we're going to transfer these nine inches from remember it's from the starting point and not from the shoulder slope so we're transferring these nine inches um here we're marking it on the front so that's the only thing that we're taking away from the back okay now remember i said that it's from our starting point like so so we'll place it and we'll mark our nine inches we're marking it across so that we're sure we're working with a straight line okay so we'll connect and this is our chest line okay we'll call it our chest line now um, let's go ahead and mark our shoulder remember our shoulder here our shoulder is um, 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 then we're also adding half inch for joining just like we did in the in the back so we are repeating the same thing here shoulder over to 16 plus the half inch for joining so we're connecting with a broken line okay Let's also extend this, our slope. Okay. So, um, this is our angle line for the front. Okay, now the essence of this is so that at the end of the day, your armhole curve will be perfect. It won't be too wide. Okay. Now, the next thing for us to do is to mark our boss round. Our boss round is 42. 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. We'll go ahead and mark that okay and remember our allowance of 1.75 okay now let's finish up with this side um from this chest line we'll come up by three inches okay from the chest line we'll come up by three inches and on that point we'll go in by 0 0.75 this will eliminate every form of um, bulge around the armhole when you're done sewing. So with this, you don't need to take your across front anymore. Okay, now we're connecting. Okay, then um, 
we're using a curve to connect to the bus round divided by four okay so here we have it this is our ankle for the front now let's proceed to mark our vertical measurements um placing your tape from the starting point her waist round her waist length is 17.5 hip length is 26 full length with your tape still here her full length is 56 Then we added 1.5 inches as our hemming allowance. We'll repeat it here as well. Then we'll go ahead and connect these lines. Okay. We are done. Let's go ahead and label like we did for the back. This is her waist length, hip line, full length, and the hemming allowance okay now let's proceed with um taking our round measurements how we've taken our bust round on the chest line now her waist round is 37 37 over 4 that's 9.25 plus 1.75 allowance hip round is 44 44 over 4 is 11 plus um, 1.75, okay? Now, for the full length, just like we did at the back, we'll take a um, measurement of what we have here. We have 12.75. Now, we're running it up to 13 for the back. Now, we'll go ahead and mark that 13 here. We'll go ahead and mark our 13. And then we added 3.5. Okay, so we are connecting this, we're correcting all our measurements now. Now remember at the full length for the back, we came up here by one inch. We'll do the same as well. Then we'll take the entire length here, we'll fold it into two. We get the middle, then we connect with our curve to meet that one inch mark. Okay, so when we are cutting, we are cutting this way upwards here. So to eliminate every form of um, pointed edge okay the next thing we're going to do is to add our half inch joining allowance on the shoulder okay so we'll go ahead and mark our half inch and we'll connect that All right, guys so and that's it with the drafting process now you can go ahead and place this directly on your fabric and cut out our allowances are there the only allowance you need to add is your one inch or your half inch zip allowance and that's it i'll see you guys in my next video where i'll be making use of this pattern okay bye